Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for joining us today. If you could just introduce yourself for everyone, tell us about uh, what your job title is, what agency you're affiliated with, if you've had um, any involvement in either the CESU or LTER networks or any long-term monitoring projects, and just how long you've been working for an agency. Sure. Well, thank you for inviting me to be part of this, and I'd, I'd like to share a little bit of my experience. I am a uh, research uh, biogeochemist. Um, I work in a watershed research group with the Rocky Mountain Research Station of the Forest Service in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I've been here since uh, 2002, and I guess that means that I've been working for the Forest Service for about 22 years, um, and I have not worked with any of the LTRs directly as a as a Forest Service uh, employee. I worked at, at Coweta a little bit during grad school, but I have worked with um, various experimental forests, um, one specifically the Fraser Experimental Forest in Colorado, um, where I've done some long-term studies on, on, on water chemistry and looking at the influence of bark beetle outbreaks and using that data to, can, to look at things like the effects of wildfires as well. So what do you like best about working for the Forest Service? Yeah, well, that's, that's great. And that's an easy question. And what I really like about working with the Forest Service is working with the Forest Service and working for the land with the land managers um, that manage the, the national forest systems, what we consider the national forests. And these are um, dedicated forest land stewards. They're, they're, they're science savvy individuals. They have lots of great questions, um, lots of big problems, especially as we're confronting things like expanding wildfires and, and, and changing climate. Um, there are new questions all the time. And so they rely on on researchers. And as as a researcher in their agency, I have kind of a captive audience for for working on a lot of questions. So I really enjoy that. Um, one of the challenges of that is that um, managers need answers today, and a lot of us researchers have answers that are going to take a long time to to get to. And so that's always a bit of a challenge to be able to kind of. Um, thread the needle of giving them what what's useful today, um, but with a you know kind of a a long term view towards the future. Yeah, awesome. And then, are there any other challenges that you experience um, working for the Forest Service? There's always a bit of a challenge being part of a government agency. Um, there are times when there are things like government shutdowns and changes in administration where policy changes might be fairly abrupt, and that can be a bit of a challenge as well. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. And so wrapping it up um, with our last question. Mm -hmm. So when just reflecting on the different challenges and challenges and benefits that you've experienced and just your overall time at the Forest Service, um, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? Yeah, that's tough. I think what I would say is um, sort of follow your bliss and do study uh, questions that really interest you and not necessarily follow um, either policy directions or whatever the latest trend is. Um, actually find some projects that that you really can be passionate about and, and stick with those. I, I've been able to do some of that, but that's something that I would um, certainly have encouraged myself to do more of. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for chatting with me today, Chuck, and uh, thank you for being a part of the career panel, and we'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Paige. Nice talking to you.